Hi, Ashley Earls here, the Communications Manager with Midwest Mission. I've been blessed to be with the ministry now for two years, and tonight I would love to introduce to you Dr. Gama and his wife June Agama with the International Health and Development Network placed in Ghana, West Africa. We've been in this beautiful partnership now since 2004, sending 17 different shipments and close to $2 million worth of relief supplies. Um, the International Health and Development Network has been blessed to also touch 262,000 lives since 2008. The International Health and Development Network, or IZN, has a simple mission, that is to use the earthly healthcare ministry of Jesus Christ as a model to help people who live in small towns and villages in the world to help them improve on their physical, social, economic, and spiritual well-being. We've been doing this since 1996, and then uh, we've been uh, helping people in Ghana uh, with this ministry. Our vision is not just take care of people in the hospital. Our vision is to help people live a, a healthy life. And health is not only in the absence of a disease. So while the hospital is our flagship uh, institution that we've built, we've been in the community since 96, doing things that are not medical. The hospital is just providing medical care when you are sick. But we've been in the, in the, in the community helping people with uh, water. We've provided water uh, to villagers who didn't have water and uh, we've also provided electricity to people who didn't have electricity. We've also helped the school, and the school has been in existence uh, for so many years without resources. So we've been able to help children get better educational resources uh, uh, over the years. When we first arrived in the community, we took assessment of the health status and the economic status of the people. Um, there was no electricity, there was no running water. People did not have access to good health care. There were no doctors in the village. Um, there was just one um, lady that delivered babies um, in her home and um, no nurses or anything. So what IHDN did in 1998 was when we, um, we took people from here. We took people uh, with many skills and abilities so that we can train the, the local people how to take care of um, you know, their, their, their children, um, how to take care of the community. And we've also been able to uh, help with agriculture, education uh, of uh, farmers on how to improve upon their uh, uh, farm raising practices. We went to do that and, uh, and, and that's one of the things we've done. We've also taught people on uh, Christian leadership and uh, trained people who are lay pastors how to be Christian leaders and reach out to people in the, in the community. We've also taught classes on, uh, on our Christian family life and, uh, and uh, taught uh, school kids on how to improve upon their English and math and uh, science education. We've provided that and we build roads. So our ministry uh, location is in the southeastern Volta region. It's in a district uh, called Ketu district. We have a population uh, catchment area of about 60,000 people, and that's the population we serve. Right now, uh, we've provided uh, water to about 10,000 people in the village, and then uh, we've uh, dug uh, uh, you know, pipelines from three mile source uh, with the help of uh, volunteers from uh, the Methodist Church in 2007 to this community. And then uh, we use uh, the nomads who came from uh, Wisconsin to help us uh, provide water for this community. It is that water that has helped change the life, livelihood of uh, the villagers. We've also donated uh, educational supplies to a school that was uh, suffering about uh, 50 students, which has now grown to 250 students with a desk that we've provided from a Midwest Mission Distribution Center. Alongside, we provided food. Anytime we go to Ghana, we fed uh, these students uh, you know, healthy, uh, balanced meal with uh, chicken. And then we've also provided uh, uh, support to uh, pastors and uh, churches in the, in the area with education of the Christian leadership 
we're proud of the resources that, that, that uh, we bring over, over, over the years. And we've also been able to train uh, the doctors who are and nurses who are in the country. We will train them uh, on how to take care of uh, patients who are sick, who are uh, brought to the hospital with uh, new uh, knowledge, and we were to uh, host an uh, annual uh, you know, uh, professional education lectures for this, this uh, group of people and the educational standard and uh, quality of care that they offer to uh, their various institutions have, have, have improved uh, as a result. And uh, we are also continuing uh, with uh, uh, building of uh, uh, resources for, uh, for women and children because uh, uh, a lot of uh, women uh, deliver babies at home and uh, we are uh, in the process of uh, finishing a women and children clinic in the remote village that will provide uh, quality uh, maternity care for pregnant women and also a child uh, welfare clinic for, for children that are born. I want to thank uh, Midwest Mission. You have helped us um, ease the burden of you know having to find ways to ship all these things that we've taken. We've taken beds, we've taken um, you know important machines and x-ray machines, everything. Um, without you we could never do what we've done. All the items we have there have uh, left the shores of the United States to Ghana through Midwest. We don't even know how to talk about it but mm -hmm. we know that uh, the Lord knows mm -hmm. what we are doing and uh, the people that we are blessing you know they see that but they don't know how but we give God the glory in throughout all this yeah. uh, this journey yeah.